and welcome back to WCCF Tech TV. This is Keith again, and today we're going to be talking about the RX 470. Now, in the last video, we discussed the RX 480 and some of the details as far as power consumption, uh, power, you know, graphics performance, as well as pricing and its market position. But today we're going to talk about the RX 470. Now, what is the RX 470? For those who aren't aware, the RX 470 and 460 were shown off at E3 this year by Dr. Lisa Su during the PC gaming show. Now, one of the most interesting things right off the bat with the RX 470 is that it was shown as a bare PCB. And I made the joke that, oh, look, it's so efficient, it can be air cooled without the need of a heat sink. But that's not quite the truth. It's kind of a joke. But the reality is, it appears to be a cut down variant of the RX 480. So we're potentially looking at just a few less um, compute units. And if numbers stay true, where the RX 480 will have 2304 stream processors, the RX 470 could potentially have uh, 2048 stream processors, which is very reminiscent of the R9380X. So with the clock speed improvements, architectural improvements, we're sh we should see much better. But now, pricing is not exactly clear. It, we do know it's going to be below the $200 price point because they said also that this is their $1 to $300 solutions which with their full product stack. So the RX 460 through the RX 480. So we can imagine the RX 470 will be somewhere in the middle of that as far as the $100 to $200 region. Um, my personal expectation is probably around 150 for the 4 gig variant and probably 170 to 179 for the 8 gig variant. Now, one of the things as far as the market position for the RX 470 is they're very keen to say that it's delivering the RX 470 graphics to deliver refined, perform power efficient HD gaming. So this is mainly being targeted at 1080p gaming. So it's looking to again replace something like the 380 380x but deliver a bit better performance especially when power consumption is taken into consideration. So it's it looks like it's going to be meet the VR minimum but not exactly be targeted to VR premium. That's going to be resorted to the RX 480 which is focused at 1440p gaming and VR premium experience whereas again this RX 470 is going to be aimed at 1080p so you're looking at possibly 1080p greater than 60fps with say high settings on most games which is pretty good pretty good. Now as far as terms of benchmarks, what we've been able to come across is we've got some results for 3D Mark 11. Now, if these are to be believed, that has the RX 470 scoring 14,889 on the graphics portion. To put that in perspective, the R9 380 of mine gets 12,189, whereas the R9 390 gets 17,431. So that places the RX 470 somewhere between the 380 and 390 in performance spectrum and at 150 to 180 dollars that's quite impressive especially for the much lower power draw than either one of those cards. So that could be really good to look at and overclocking this thing being that it appears to be on the RX 480 PCB and we already know it's going to be a slightly cut down variant and slightly lower clocked, we could look at the potential of an overclocking monster here. Something similar to say the the HD7950 compared to the HD7970 where the HD7970 was faster and you know even overclocked it still ran off and left the 7950 but the 7950 was easily overclocked to catch up to the 7970 for substantially less you know money. So we could see a return to that but you know at these price points it's it's kind of hard to say why save you know 20 bucks but it it's something that could be interesting now that's all we've got right now on the RX 470 as we get more information we'll bring that out to you now in the next video we're gonna spend a little time talking about the little baby brother the RX 460 and why it's important in the market and what it could mean for esports gaming in general so this has been keith with wccf tech feel free to subscribe like and so you don't miss out on any more content and we'll catch you all in the next video